So today in the topic of refrigeration and air conditioning for aeronautical engineering students, we will be discussing chapter 6, topic number 6, human comfort. In the topic of human comfort, we will be discussing the basically the selection of inside and outside design conditions, thermal comfort, the basic heat balance equation, factors affecting thermal comfort in which the effective temperature is the temperature which is the responsible for maintaining the comfortable condition inside the enclosed space so this is the important topic and comfort chart basically it's a uh, representation of summer and winter comfort conditions on a psychometric chart so we'll just go through the basic conditions what are the different conditions and factor governing effective temperature then selection of outside design conditions so basically this particular topic is related with the human comfort what are the conditions maybe we will be discussing some of the metabolic rates of different physical activities uh, the bas basic heat balance equation that's it so uh, first of all selection of inside design condition where the condition space is maintained to be air conditioned so first is design and analysis of air conditioning system it involves the selection of suitable conditions which is responsible for design it is mostly related with the inside condition when sometime when heat is variable with respect to outside condition the outside condition may also be considered then estimation of the required capacity of cooling or heating as well as heating requirement if only cooling is required then cooling condition will be considered and if cooling and heating both are required then what type of requirement will be considered then selection of suitable heating or cooling system whether it's individual air conditioning system or it requires some evaporative cooling system or it requires some central con uh, cooling system then supply conditions uh, like if it is for human then the condition will be different if it is for some goods it is it would be different than if it is for some fruits and vegetables or some perishable items or some other thing then the condition will be different so according to the requirement the uh, supply condition will be fixed then design of air transmission and distribution system so basically it contains the design of complete duct from originating point where from where the cold air will be generated and it will be circulated or disposed to the uh, particular space so the complete design will be considered in this particular section so now it's a little five conditions selection of suitable condition inside and outside condition it contains through, through throughout the year and uh, problems of heating and cooling then estimation of capacity then uh, uh, suitable cooling or type of system basically a cooling or heating system then supply condition and finally the design of air transmission distribution system generally the input in the building specification is as per the special requirement like if uh, some unhealthy persons are there then the requirement will be different so uh, a specific requirement shall be considered also then the overall heat gains by the building it may also be the part because if the complete space which is directly exposed to the sun then the radiation, radiation effect will also be considered and uh, the required inside design condition depend depends on the use of the building so uh, basically it is for the occ occupants or for human beings which is known as comfortable air conditioning or for storage of some perishable products so it depends upon the requirement so all these points will be considered before selection of the inside design condition so once the design conditions are fixed then the thermal comfort will be defined so according to the p o fenger which is fenger comfortable condition it's the name of a science scientist uh, so he defined that the condition of mind which expresses satisfaction with the thermal environment like if we are standing in uh, in summers the open uh, diet uh, sunlight then we will be feeling some specific heated environment then we will not feel comfortable so we'll try to 
um, um, look after the shaded area so that we will feel comfortable so basically this is a condition of mind which expresses the satisfaction with the thermal environment like heating condition or cooling condition second the living human body may be considered as a heat engine where the chemical energy contained in the fluid consumed continuously and converted into work and heat it is lost was work will be useful so the process of conversion of chemical energy contained in the food into heat and work is called the metabolism the rate uh, metabolism is the rate which the where the chemical energy is converted into heat and work so if it is converted at a particular rate then it will be known as metabolic rate so the knowledge of metabolic rate of the equipment is required as a part of cooling load calculation because if number of occupants are more then we need to consider that what type of occupants are there and what they are doing so according their activity it will be calculated then similar to the heat engine one can define the thermal efficiency also because in heat engine we need to calculate the thermal efficiency so human being is a ratio of useful work output to the energy input so the thermal efficiency of human being can vary from zero to as high as possible uh, maybe 15 to 20 percent so one more thing is that the human body continuously generate heat as a rate uh, varying from 100 watt so sedentary person means the person who is working to as high as 2000 watt doing extreme exercise so if a person is normal working and if he is doing ex extremely exercise then this is the difference between minimum and mo uh, maximum working condition then continuous heat generation which is essential for human being basically if it is uh, if it is uh, if he, uh, human being is doing nothing is only sitting doing some regular work then heat will be generated continuously so it is with respect to the human body only not with the external surrounding so uh, it is very sensitive human body is very sensitive temperature as the skin uh, we all know that 98.6 is the standard temperature of the body in Fahrenheit so if we uh, convert the 400 degree centigrade so there are two things one is the skin temperature which is 33.7 and core temperature which is 36.8 so the body temperature must be maintained within the particular range once the temperature uh, range will be different then it will feel discomfort so uh, discomfort means excessive heat or excessive cold also may damage the skin of um, uh, uh, skin condition also so uh, it is observed that the core temperature lies between 35 means a little slightly uh, lower than the standard temperature 36.8 so 35 to 39 slightly higher than the 36.8 so body only when it breaks this range 35 to 39 then body experience only mild discomfort when the temperature is more uh, variable with 35 and 39 degree then people may suffer the loss in efficiency and uh, it is also been reported by different studies that uh, it become lethal and temperature falls below the 31 and if it is rises above the 43 degree centigrade obviously when 43 centigrade means it is approximately uh, you will be having 6 degree 4 to f uh, 6 degree of uh, high temperature of your body you may not work that's why we can say there is a you have some fever so thermally discomfort uh, feeling will be there uh, now uh, this is the heat balance equation uh, which is nothing but the all type of heat uh, like QSK total heat transfer rate from the skin SK for skin, Q RES heat transfer rate due to the respiration and QST rate at which the heat is stored inside the body. body. So if we uh, combine all three then we will be getting the heat generated uh, rate at which the heat is generated inside the body Q gen. So this is the uh, uh, equation is given here uh, while taking the human body as a control volume. So this is known as the thermal heat uh, balance equation of human body while this q gen can also be uh, uh, given in the form of metabolic rate so m is the metabolic rate 
uh, eta is the thermal efficiency which is mostly zero for uh, maximum uh, 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 activities of day-to-day um, -day routine so it will be equal to the q gen equal to the metabolic rate so the metabolic rate basically depends upon the activity it is normally measured in the unit of dot mat met so a mat is defined as the metabolic rate per unit area and is found to be equal to 58.2 watt per meter square it is also known as basic metabolic rate now one table is shown so that uh, one can understand the what are the different metabolic rate of the human body this table is taken from the ashray standard handbook of fundamental 1997 where the standard metabolic rates are provided so first column is related with the activity second column based on the m dot met unit then just thermal unit and watt per meter square so for resting sleeping is the minimum activity so that is the 0 0.7 which is equal to 40 watt per meter square then if you are sitting quietly the material rate is 1 if you are standing then it is 1.2 so basically it's from sleeping to standing it is increases then walking lower speed and higher speed so 2 to 3 points Eight. If you are reading, sitting, and it's, it's all also one. Writing is also one. And if you are lifting or packing something, doing some work, is approximately double. So two point one. So now, next uh, category is driving the car. So if you are driving a car, then it will be within one to two. In extreme traffic situation, it becomes two. So this is the aircraft. If you are doing the routine work of the aircraft, one point two instrument landing something these condition 1.8 because you are sitting on a particular seat then combat aircraft is military aircraft it is 2.4 for heavy vehicle basically if you are driving it becomes 3 points so, so from normal car to uh, heavy vehicle it becomes approximately uh, 2 to 3 times higher now in occupational activities like cooking house cleaning handling bags so it is between between 1.6 to 4.8 then machine work like electrical tables or in heavy industry it is 1.8 to 4 then some laser activities like dancing it is 2.4 to 4.4 then tennis basketball wrestling maximum wrestling basically so if you are doing some basketball also it is good 5 to 7.6 so these are some of the conditions so factor affecting the thermal comfort are divided into three categories physiological factors insulating factors and environmental factors physiological factors are age activity uh, health and type of person then insulating factor basically which is due to clothing the clothing has a strong influence and rate of heat transfer from human body if we wear comfortable clothes clothing during the summer and winter then the body or the condition of mind will be feel satisfactory basically it is defined as dot clo one clo is equal to the resistance of about 0 0.155 meter square so type of clo values for different type of clothing have been estimated and also given so uh, into different um, uh, uh, data book of uh, comfortable conditions and environmental factors basically dry bulb temperature relative humidity air motion and surrounding surface temperature Z these are the condition out of which dry bulb temperature affect the heat transfer by convection and evaporation relative humidity affect heat loss by evaporation air velocity influences both convective and evaporative heat transfer and surrounding surface temperature affect the radiative heat transfer so basically so these are the environmental factors which affect the heat transfer phenomena effective temperature uh, is the basically single parameter which combine the effect of dry bulb temperature and air humidity it defines the temperature at which the environment at 50% RH is the same total loss from the skin in the actual environment. So its value depends upon the activity, clothing, air value and TMRT like so we can define the standard effective temperature SCT or ET. So clothing 0 0.6, activity 1, air velocity 0 0.1 and TMRT drive up temperature. So comfort chart apart from this effective temperature we can say it depends upon the operating temperature which is the uh, weighted average of the air dvt and tmrt into single factor so this is tmrt and ambient temperature if we combine with respect to radiative and convective heat transfer coefficient r for radiative c for convective then we will be getting the operative temperature 
T M N is the dry bulb temperature of air. So based on this condition, Ashray defined the comfort chart. On the chart, where summer and winter zone are provided. So if you are wearing summer uh, clothing and winter clothing, then in in that manner, how we are going to feel some normal conditions or comfortable condition. The comfort chart based on Ashray conditions for winter. The operated operated temperature between 20 to 31.5 and relative humidity 60 percent. If our temperature is slightly higher, 20.5 and 24.5 at dew point temperature 2 degrees centigrade. So basically, these are the inside design condition. And for summer, it is because it's lower temperature, higher temperature 22.5 and 26. So we need to design a particular system for this temperature range and dew point temperature relative humidity. So these are the condition where we can define the inside design condition for winter and summer now for outside design condition basically it depends upon the type of structure so it's a heavy construction medium or light construction means single wall double wall or wall having some specific space between these two walls then insulation characteristic of the building insulation of the walls as well as area of glass and other transport uh, transparent uh, surfaces like um, the thickness of glass we are, or we are uh, using some opaque glass as well the type of using of this uh, building what type of use of this building if it is a hospital if it is a movie theater shopping mall a residential building office building so there are several categories which is defined the nature of occupancy uh, whether it is occupied by a person by some items or some uh, eatables then daily range basically it is a difference between maximum and minimum temperature in a given day so these are the some outside design condition now if you want to select the outside design condition then there are two category outdoor design condition for summer and winter so it is recommended that outdoor design condition for summer must be selected based on the value of dry bulb and mean coincident wet bulb temperature where these two temperature are meeting which is 0.4 1 and 2 of total hours in a year these values are major location in the world are available in ASHRAE handbook, this fundamental handbook. So these are some value which is provided, lower higher values. If nothing is provided then we can select 1% uh, or 2% value maybe for summer out design. Similarly for winter, the range is provided 99.6 to 99% <coughs> for total hours in a year. So based on this summer design condition, if this value is not provided then 99.6 values is recommended so basically if we want to design a certain building for thermal comfort then these standard values are given in the ASHRAE data book depending on the type of building type of uses etc so if a person is able to calculate the exact value of the requirement inside and outside then it's better if it is not then also the recommended values are given so one can select the standard requirement of the building so, uh, uh, human comfort comfortable conditions are and now we'll move towards the air conditioning load calculations thank you